channel if you clicked on today's video then you already know what today is today is foundation friday i haven't done a foundation friday in a couple months i'm going to get back to uh, being more consistent with foundation friday um but today we will be trying out the hermes plain air um foundation if you're new to my channel foundation fridays when i try out a random foundation one that's been out for a while it's pretty much new to me and i do my first impression thoughts i do it all under five minutes you will not see a foundation wear test but you will see my initial thoughts on it and then um if anything changed as far as my thoughts i will have a comment pinned in the comment section that's pretty much what foundation friday is now this foundation has been out for a while i think it was released in the uk um, earlier this year or sometime last year. I know I did see a review from Wendy Wise when this first came out. She did like a whole review on the foundation, the powder. I believe like the blush, the lipstick, like she did the whole entire um, Hermes makeup line. But um, this was just released here, I believe early summer. I'm not sure. I know it hasn't been out for a year here in the US. But anyway, y'all, let's just get right into Foundation Friday. Best Plain Air Foundation retails for $85. It is available in 12 shades. It has a natural finish with adjustable coverage, hyaluronic acid for long-lasting hydration, and it also has SPF 30. I picked up the shade um, 85. I was first looking at the shade 30, but at the last minute, something just told me go with 85. And for some reason, um, Nordstrom didn't have the shade 85, so I picked mine up from Bloomingdale's because at Nordstrom, it goes straight from 80 to the... Um, shade 90 I believe so just in case if anybody is my shade twin and plan on picking this up after seeing um, this five minute review the best place to get it um, this particular shade is Bloomingdale's or um, the actual Hermes website just keep that in mind I'm gonna do a quick swatch so we can see exactly what it looks like this is what it looks like swatched on the back of my hand and this actually looked like it will work so today for primer i'm going to go in with the time for traceless soft matte primer the foundation on and this is what my face looks like as you see it definitely is giving skin also this has nice coverage I use about a pump pump and a half and it covered up every single dark spot on my face this feels really good going on the skin it is very lightweight it really feels like I don't have nothing on and also I look very poreless in my t-zone area and usually my pores look huge in this area so this does have a slight scent but it's not like a scent that lingers it kind of disappears after a while when I first start blending this out I I felt like it looked kind of orange to me. Once I put concealer and everything on, it doesn't look too bad. It actually looks like a pretty good shade match. So if my thoughts on this foundation change, if there's anything that I feel like you guys need to know, I will have a comment pinned in the comment section. And this is not a full day wear test. This is a foundation Friday. So this review is pretty much under five minutes. So yeah, that is pretty much it for now. Those are my thoughts on this foundation. Also, I do plan on bringing uh, 12 Days of Foundation back um, this upcoming holiday season. So if you have any foundations you would like to see me review for a Foundation Friday or 12 Days of Foundation, leave that below in the comment section. And most importantly, do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.